What's good, y'all? It's Will Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about uh Brian Danielson's uh I guess you can say recent interview of sorts talking about uh well updating us on his uh his injuries that he's been dealing with and it's actually kind of concerning to be honest with you some of the stuff that he said uh in this recent interview we're gonna talk about it and and once again it's it's one of those things where you know he loves the the business of professional wrestling but at some point you kind of gotta step you know take a step back or step away for you know just your health concerns so we're gonna check this out see what he has to say i saw this uh sent to me from twitter so i'm gonna pull it up real quick uh this is from the uh wrestle purist uh twitter page brian danielson opens up more about how he is feeling physically says he's losing strength in his legs and hasn't been sleeping well due to shooting pains physically I uh, have had my ups and downs. I hurt my neck really bad in April in the Osprey match. And because of circumstances, I wasn't able to get an MRI until May. When that happened, it was questionable if I'd even be able to finish the Owen Hart tournament in July. Midway through the recent Okada match, I started losing strength in my legs. There's a there's a point in the match where I'm trying to kick kick him and I can't turn over my kicks. That's something that I uh have the body mechanics to do because I've been doing it for so long. But here I am and I can't turn my hips over for this kick. When I get when I got to the back I went to the trainer right away and they worked on me for like 30 minutes. They said it was stemming from the neck stuff. It's getting to a point where physically we're seeing the signs. I haven't been sleeping well because I have been having this shooting pain down my arm. It would have been really hard to be done wrestling if I felt great, right? I love it so much. I still love it so much. I get out there and it's a rush. When I'm out there, I don't feel pain. Wednesday, I just noticed it, and there was this awareness that I didn't have uh, the strength in my legs that I normally have. That's the point where it's getting kind of hard. Um, and he, I guess, had some type of interview with Yahoo Sports. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I love Brian Danielson. I love what he's done in uh, WWE. I love what he's done in AEW. I love... The great matches that he has given us. The classic matches he's given us in both companies. I appreciate everything he's done for the business. The guy that's not traditionally larger than life. Became larger than life in the fans of so many. You know, in the in the eyes of so many fans. Like so many people regard, regard Brian Danielson as one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. And he doesn't look like he's the greatest but in that ring he shows that he is he doesn't have this hulk hogan build no but in that ring he can go with the best of them and i say this coming from someone that has been a fan of what he's done for the business when you're starting to lose feeling in your legs you're having a tough time sleeping at night you're losing feeling in your arms there's a shooting pain. It's time to step away. It's time to step away. It's that simple. I love them to death, but it's time to step away, especially in AEW. AEW, they work a lot more stiffer than they do in WWE. That's it's not even a question. They work a lot stiffer. They do a lot more dangerous uh, spots, stunts, for some people want to call them. They do. It's not even a question. Some of his matches he's had, these past few years have been brutal in just how stiff they've been. And that's not a knock on AEW. That's just how they are in that company. And that's what Danielson wanted to be a part of. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's only so much your body can take. All After all the, 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 the physical turmoil you put yourself through in WWE, you turned it up in AEW. And that's awesome. But there's only so much you can take. And right now, if this is true and this is how he's been feeling, I love him to death. I love him as AEW world champion, but he needs to he needs to drop the belt. 
sooner rather than later. Because this ain't a good sign. If you're losing feelings in your legs, it's time to take a step back and recoup. We know he's been needing to, to get some work done. Get the work done. Get the work done. If you need to get some type of neck surgery, do it. And maybe you can come back later on. Or maybe you can't. But, man, you gave us everything you could have. And I'm, I'm thinking more so about his family, his kids, his wife, the people that care about him. They don't want him to be in a situation where he can't walk normally anymore. He's going to always be in pain. He can't hold his daughter. He can't hold his children up anymore because he's going to be in pain. No, I think it's time for him to sit down. I think it's time for him to drop the title, get the work done. Simple as that. If I'm Tony and I know this, yeah, I love you, bro. I appreciate you. It's time for you to sit down. It's time for you to get the, the work you need to get done. Do what you got to do. Put over who you're going to put over to beat you. Get the work you need to get done. Simple as that. I love him to death. Love everything he's done for the wrestling business, but this ain't good. When someone's saying I'm having a tough time sleeping at night, I can barely do the moves I normally am able to do, it's a problem. Your body is telling you, hey, I can I'm at my end. I'd rather him be able to have a, a, a great life outside of wrestling than to be in terrible pain afterwards. So hopefully he gets the medical treatment he needs to get done. Hopefully they, you know, listen to what he said. And I know Danielson, he loves the business. But sometimes, sometimes you got to say, Hey, I've done enough. I need to fix myself. I need to get myself physically back where it needs to be and focus on that. That's the only thing I care about. I don't care about nothing else other than him getting better. So I, I don't think anyone would trip if he had to walk away to get the surgeries and everything else he needs to get done, done. And if he's able to come back safely, if that's what he chooses to do, cool. If he has to walk away for good, I don't think nobody would trip. I I surely won't because he's given his body, his soul, everything to this business. And he will go down as one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. In my book, in a lot of people's book as well. So comment down below and let me know. How do y'all feel about Brian Daniels' uh, comments? Do y'all feel like he should go ahead and, and hang it up, get the surgery, get whatever he needs to get done to heal himself, to feel better. Or do y'all think he should finish off whatever type of run they have for him uh, going forward? Maybe get a couple more matches in and then hang it up, then drop the title and hang it up. Y'all let me know where, where y'all line on it. Because me personally, I just think he's saying stuff like that. Damn that, you know, you know. I damn no don't don't want him to wrestle anymore until he gets that fixed. But if they got some stuff, he needs to drop the title as soon as possible and get worked on. That's just my personal opinion. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.